month and Dashniyas of Standard 11. We are thrilled to announce that the respected correspondent, Reverend Dr. Thureiraj, and an honorable principal, Dr. Mrs. Paris Thureiraj, have received the Global Ed Leader Award from YMCA Midras and School Boards at Finland. Up after all these stories, let's take a brief look at the award ceremony at Finland and the felicitation ceremony hosted in our school to celebrate their success. Honor to present the Global Edu Leader Award to Reverend Dr. N. Duraraj, Chairman and Managing Trustee of Bethel Group of Schools. With over 38 years of dedicated service in education, Reverend Dr. Duraraj has transformed Bethel from a modest nursery into a leading institution known for its excellence in holistic education. Under his visionary leadership, Bethel has embraced both national and international curricula, emphasizing not only academic achievement but also character development and social responsibility. Reverend Dr. Duraraj's commitment to nurturing students through innovative teaching methods and a focus on moral and intellectual growth has significantly impacted countless lives. School Voice, in association with YMCA Madras, is proud to present the Global Edu Leader Award to Reverend Dr. N. Duraraj, recognizing his outstanding service and dedication to advancing education and shaping the future of our global society. Dr. Florence Zoriraj, principal, BETHEL Group of Schools. It is with immense pride that we honor Dr. Florence Duraraj with the Global Edu Leader Award. As the trustee, founder, and principal of Bethel Group of Schools, Dr. Florence Duraraj has been instrumental in transforming the institution into a hub of holistic education. Her visionary leadership and commitment to fostering academic excellence and character development have made Bethel a standout institution. Under her guidance, the school has tried nurturing students to become innovative and capable leaders. School Boys, in association with YMC in Madras, is proud to present the Global Edu Leader Award to Dr. Florence Duraraj, celebrating her exceptional contributions to education.
Remarkable result, exemplary effort, phenomenal work, performance speaks volumes. Can you guess? Good morning. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can, that can happen. You can make anything happen. One good. Today, the entire fraternity of Bethel group of schools feels elated, elated to announce that our school corresponds principal madam were honored with a prestigious award from School Voice Global Edu Leaders in Finland on September 5th. Give them a big round of applause. the ideas of the true leader under the guidance of this stalwart facilitators have put the best foot forward to promote sustainable development by fostering drivers approach the extreme award lot the endeavors of the school towards the society on behalf of the school hereby we congratulate and extend our heartfelt wishes and happiness for your persistent diligence and contribution towards the growth of young children. Our awardees who deserve the Global Ed Leader Award is once again you can give them a big round of applause for their leadership.
18 heads of the institution have visited the trip to Finland on first day evening. Actually, all these schools are throughout Tamil Nadu and uh, different kinds of school. So, it was a nice time to visit Finland education system since the education system in Finland is the first place throughout the world. So, we have given us the grace to visit such schools. First day, we had visiting the high class education. Second day, we have visited the private system of education. So excellence is contagious. We are proud to be a part of it. We humbly beg in our director, Dr. T. Rosalind Roman Ma'am, to address the gathering. Never underestimate yourself. Right. I come to school, I sit in the classroom, I learn, I score some marks. Let me do what is possible with me and then go that's from the school life. Right? I know your 11th and 12th after one year and after a few months, you will never ever get back to school life again. Be invisible, right? Be invisible. When a missus or when a teacher is asking me, go and pick up some books, you let me go. Someone will go, why should I go? A teacher will ask you, go and get a chalk piece, yes or no? Go get the papers, yes? We always be ready to do little, little tasks that are of good, then you have a good visibility, right? When you want to be successful, I said everybody wants to be successful. A good visibility needs a good character. A quote, a quote says like this, your success stops when your character stops. When your success stops, when your character stops. What is You make fun of others. So good character or bad character? So when you do this, your which one stops? Success stops. You gossip about others. I know there will be a lot of things in 11th and 12th. This is my camp, this is your camp, that is that camp. We gossip. Our office on time, our office on time. One day you say, don't speak with the rest or no? Is it a good character or bad character? When you have a bad character, what stops? Yes. We make fun of faculties. You know, everybody makes being a student is a good character or bad character. Which means if it's a bad character, what stops? Success stops. So if you want to be successful, first is visibility. Good visibility is needed when you have a good character. If your character stops, if your character stops, your success stops. I'm not going to ask you everything. Rachel, do you evaluate your faculties? Do you judge your faculties? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, you know, this, this comes, we can write the exam like this. This is a strict teacher, right? When you are able to evaluate a teacher, teachers here have so many years of experience. They know your evaluation, they know you are making fun of them, but still they erase their mind and come with this mind to place every day to your class. That again. Sometimes you show faces to the teachers, right? Sometimes you get the papers and show a face and then you want them. The next day, only your parents and your teachers never show their faces back. Then the teacher say, yes or no, the next day if you are not able, if you are going to them for a doubt or any help, they are always being available. That is the character, right? That is their character. So first is what I said. You should have visibility, visibility needs, good character. If you have a good character, you will be, if you have a bad character, you will be, you will be a? Failure in your life. So be careful from today. Think of what what does your character all about. Second is credibility, right? Credits, right? Enrich your credits. Today you see 11th standard. Every student, every batch, in the assembly, you make lot of slides. Anybody is going to give mark for this slide? No. But you know that increases your credibility when you go to a college where they ask you to make slides. But go. Don't always push. Sometimes you don't want to make a smile. Get the opportunity from the class and say, this time I will do it. I will have a maximum to do it. When something they want you to give a speech, come out. So always run for good credibility. For good credibility. Only marks is not going to define you. A credibility involves how you behave, how you take
take a task that is you are able to complete it on time. When you step out of school, you know every credit has got a value. Yes, when you go to college, your sports credit has got a value. Right? The way you speak has got a value, has got a credit. The way you write everything on your own has got a value. Always run for good credits. Again, you have got good credits and bad credits. Right? So you have given for yourself the mark, what you have, what you will give for your character. Right? What, how many credits you have got? You know what I am trying to say, what is credits? Yes, no? You are with your parents. In other players, you are not going to She is a good girl. When you shout at them, what your parents will say? That will be good words from them, right? Yes. So, your good credit also linked with how you behave, right? How you math. That means a skill you need to adapt to it. Without skill, you cannot have a credit in your life. Don't ever underestimate any of the They never thought, they just started to school with two children. Now we have about 2,500 for 42 years. Their credit, their mind, their credit was to provide education to all. Right? Now have they got the credit? Yes or no? Run for credits in your life. It's not only academics. How do you get? You upgrade your skill, maybe in sports, maybe in speech, maybe in writing. Your listening, reading and writing skill will give you good and make use of every good opportunity that you get. And third is what I said. P. And who said P? Come Sanjay, Surya. Sanjay, come a big round of applause to Sanjay. Right? You are using Instagram. Instagram leads you see. Is it a profit or loss? It also, which without knowing yourself, it spoils your mind. If you see something that is not a good task, right? That keeps running in your mind even when you start reading your books. When you spend time and chatting with people, want that chance, unwanted chance, is good credit, good profit or a loss? It's a loss to your mind. See, your mind is something very, very important that can quickly spoil using social media. Always think, am I going to do this? It's a profit or loss. Do you wash your plates that you eat at home? Right? Nice dinner. Okay, keep it How many of you pour water to the bottles that we brought today? Right? For how many parents? So these are things of good profitability. Right, profit to your parents and you will have the enjoyment. I pour this water in my bottle and I am drinking this one is that way, which is of a good task. Sitting in mobile for a long time. I don't say deny mobile is not good, it has got good and bad. But every task that you do should have good profitability. What are the three things to be successful? First, good, then good, all the best. Let us tie with the loose ends and bring those events to memorable groups. Vote of thanks by Daniel members of 12B. Good morning to one and all gentlemen. As we come close to the felicitation ceremony, I want to take a moment to extend a heartfelt thanks to everyone who made today so special. First and foremost, we express our deepest gratitude to our principal manager, Dr. Florence Guerrera, and our correspondent sir, Dr. Guerrera, for our exceptional leadership and dedication. Your vision and commitment have been a source of inspiration to us, and we are honored to celebrate your achievements today. I want to express a gratitude to our directors, Dr. Randy Robin and Dr. Dorian Robin for inspiring words and for being here with us. Thanks to our teaching and non-teaching staff for your organizing this event and to all the students for your support and participation. Thank you and have a wonderful day.